Hello, this is Eric Szczygieł and this is episode 2 where I want to show you how I did approach painting of this guy that is really roughly based on one of the sketches I made previously uh, using the method from the first video. So usually when I want to make a concept that is a little bit more refined I like to start with a really basic things like perspective to make sure pretty much everything will sit properly in space and will not look uh, distorted or slanted or pretty much anything. Also that's the reason why I'm really often uh, flipping the, the screen vertically and sometimes phew, when I'm flipping the screen horizontally and sometimes vertically to make sure my whole geometry is, is properly drawn and is correctly placed in space. Usually when I make the, the first sketch I I prefer to draw them like I feel I understand the geometry a little bit better when I draw everything but later I will jump to to painting all over the all over my line art to make it feel a little bit more painterly to work more with a, with a light and not too much with a, with a line because in this case the the final outcome is not meant to be a drawing but it's meant to be a painting a pretty much nicer rendering of a night that i er earlier designed and wanted to refine refine further so when i'm doing stuff like this i really try to focus on the big shapes first so as you can see i tried doing the the biggest things in the in the whole character like the chest plate or the helmet or this red kind of skirt that now is a little bit purple because I wanted to try to adjust the, the color to the environment but later the environment will also change so, so the color of the skirt uh, but I think working from the overall uh, picture like working from the overall stuff like over from the general sh general shapes to the details is a little bit better uh, because it kind of allows you to understand what parts of the of the painting or of the design needs to be refined a little bit more where you need areas of visual rest and where you need this really sharp touch like this really sharp rendering that will be the main uh, focal point of interest. Also in this case as you can see uh, I was not really sure while painting if I want to keep it a little bit more painterly or to keep it way more like refined to make it look really clean and, and everything. Uh, but later I scrapped this idea, I decided I want to go with a more rough painting feeling because I was not really sure what I was going for, I had not figured out every single de detail that I want to include in this painting, so I thought like going really clean really early on would only make it harder for me to paint. But in this case I discovered that making the general, general shapes uh, really well rendered or making them look clean uh, helped me a lot with adding all the details and basically it was my reference like my material reference that I could uh, grab my brush on and paint other stuff basing on the light that I has on this on this material so as you can see I also flattened his arm shoulder armor uh, because I was not I, I did not really like how it was sticking out so I decided I want to make it to to make it a little bit clo closer to his body but uh, I guess from the from the overall things why and how uh, I approach the painting like this this is all I think I could talk a little bit why I decided to paint this guy because it's also a really important thing if you are painting something to know why you are doing this and what purpose it serves so in this case this guy is one of the knights from the war order that I am designing slowly in my personal IP so basically it's 
it's an armor or something or a guy or a character from from the IP that I'm slowly developing uh, that will be oriented on a fantasy like dark fantasy stuff so it is inspired a lot with the games like Dark Souls 1 2 and 3 mostly with the with the part 1 and 3 because I did not really like the, the part 2 in terms of design wise gameplay wise it was kinda interesting but but still I'm the first and the third parts of Dark Souls were uh, way better uh, and it's also inspired by the games like Diablo 1 and 2 where the where the blizzard really really nailed down the the feeling of the dark the solid dark fantasy that is a little bit more serious i also wanted to avoid doing a really fantasy looking knight or or character i wanted to make him look a little bit more believable like it's really based on the armors i studied earlier uh, so I was trying to avoid adding like a giant shoulder pads or adding a giant sword or something like this but to keep it a little bit more simple to to keep it a little bit more clear because also this will be the overall vibe of the project that I'm working on and I hope I will be able to show you a lot more in the future how this project will develop. Also, right now you can see I am struggling a little bit with the sword that I'm trying to paint because I was not really sure how to how the light will will bounce off the blade to make it look good, but I stick with what I felt was looking pretty much all right. But I guess later I will change it uh, change it a little bit to to make it look a little bit better but or maybe not I don't really remember but the important change is the background after digging some some references on the Pinterest to to see how other people are presenting their nights I really liked how some guys made the presentation on the white background because it kind of in my opinion made the character character pop out uh, from the background a bit and it also made the reflections look a bit look a bit better because if I have like a lot of white reflections it for me is logical to make the character stand in the white uh, environment and not in the dark environment that is a little bit moody and marky and also in terms of printing it later I guess it will look a little bit nicer uh, and it will not be uh, like so so dark and and yeah and uh, you could also see uh, for the moment I was adding a little bit more color to the metal because a friend of mine told me it's too gray so I tried to add a little bit more like a, like a rust or bronze colors to the metal to make it look a little bit more natural and also now I am adding uh, on the separate layer uh, some pouches and leather straps to incorporate like the the last level of details uh, to add him a little bit more of a believable design so you can kinda understand how he is using this armor and it's not only a sketch but it's something that someone could use it's also adding a really nice touch like it's it's a really nice touch to make the whole design look a little bit more uh, interesting and uh, also I kept it on the different layer because later I want to make a video where I will make four or five different versions of this guy so I could quickly turn this off to turn this layer off uh, or to quickly uh, change the the belts or or the details he is wearing on his armor so i guess thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did while doing it and don't forget to subscribe and to like and pretty much anything bye